It hasn't been ratified yet, but this tentative three-year contract agreement between the Newark Teachers Union and the state could spell big changes for the city's more than 3,000 teachers. Highlights of the deal include retroactive pay totaling $31 million and a universal salary scale that includes increases and bonus opportunities. But the most significant change is a new pay-for-performance system that rewards good teachers, something the governor has been calling for since he took office. The opportunity to put in place, you know, a rigorous and effective evaluation system where we reward excellence um, is, is terrific. Um, and to do so with the input and participation and voice of teachers, um, to me, will only ensure that it's more effective. Teachers have told me countless times that they were never afraid of accountability. They were never afraid of the evaluation system. Teachers will have a voice in the new evaluation system. Each school's peer review team will include a teacher, school administrator, and principal with equal power. Teachers who don't make the grade will get coaching and professional development. An oversight committee will also be established, but the school superintendent will have the final say. Teachers in struggling schools will have more flexibility, including the option of longer school days and additional staff. The $100 million grant from Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg will help pay for teacher bonuses and back pay. During these economic times, I think the monetary deal is a very fair and equitable deal. I think that bringing in peer review will be the future of the union. And I think, you know, long after I'm gone, I hope that this initiative grows. The tentative agreement marks another chapter in an ongoing plan to overhaul the state-run school district. Other changes in recent years include school closings, consolidations, and the proliferation of charter schools, which has left an excess of teachers. But this contract, which if approved will be in effect through 2015, doesn't address that issue. The contract is expected to be ratified on October 29th. Implementation could take several months. For NJ Today, I'm Desiree Taylor in Newark.